What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you a little bit of late night news well it may not be late for you guys in the US of A or other countries but here in the UK I'm recording this at literally about 1am so it's kind of late over here but Luke Smith just basically quoted Christopher Barrett the one and only the one man at Bungie to be honest I have faith in he just tweeted at this, Happy Holidays Guardians, I hope you are enjoying the dawning or at least a bit of the chaos in mayhem. There are a few things I want to mention before the year ends. For the upcoming Iron Banner and Faction Rally events, in addition to brand new seasonal armour ornaments, we are adding new themed sparrows, ghosts, ships, shaders to the reward pools. Early next year we are refactoring raid itemization across the game the most difficult activities should be the most rewarding and finally i know we say it a lot but we hear your feedback on eververse we both want our players to feel respected and to deliver great content regularly to our community expect lots of discussion with the dev team and an update on our path forward after the new year one more for good measure we have short-term and long-term solutions for vault space in the works since I know that is another hot topic. Now to be honest I have been waiting ages for Christopher Bauer to address this. I seriously have. It was one man like I said I have faith in. It's this guy right here. And his profile picture to me it always reminds me of Dean Ambrose from WWE. If you're a wrestling fan you'll know what I mean. It looks just like him in that picture anyway. But yes so it seems as though I know we always say this it seems as though Bungie are listening. I mean yes you can say they do listen. Indeed they do listen. They just address things well late. But there's been a lot of negativity surrounding Eververse. I mean, it is literally ruining the game. It really is. I mean, I've spent money on it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know a lot of people have spent money on it. It's because we want the loot that these contain, which we just cannot get through grinding the game. It just doesn't work that way. I've literally had three or four exotics. The entire time I have cashed in bright engrams with Test Eververse. And I don't know how many engrams I've cashed in. It's just ridiculous. So yes, I'm super glad to see that they've seen our feedback and they're addressing the issue. How they're going to address it though? We just have to wait and see. But you kind of get an inkling when they talk about faction rallies and Iron Banner. Because like I said, he states, in addition to brand new seasonal armor ornaments, we're adding new themed sparrows, ghosts, ships and shaders to the reward pools. Normally, no doubt, these would have been locked behind bright engrams. And it's good to see that they're thrown into the loot pool. Like a lot of the things that are with Test Eververse, I believe they should also be thrown into the loot pool as well. And I also like the fact that they're refactoring raid itemization across the game. Because it's true, the most difficult activities in the game should be the most rewarding. So it's good to see that they're actually thinking about that. And last but not least people, vault space, we need that vault space. And we also need, I'm telling you guys, we need a mass delete button for shaders. Hit that like button if you agree with me. We need a mass delete button for shaders. I mean like I've got stacks of 200 plus shaders which I'm just keeping in my vault and it's taking up my vault space because I can't be bothered to go through there one by one deleting them. It just takes up too much time. So we need a mass delete button. We really do. Also an equip all button for shaders as well. That would be pretty awesome. But yes guys, just a little bit of late night news. I'm actually super looking forward to see and hear about the test of reverse changes or what they plan on doing to resolve basically our issues with it and the negativity surrounding Test Eververse. There's no two which ways about it. We all know Bright Engrams contain the best loot in this game. Yes, you can earn them normally without paying, but what are you getting all that loot from just playing the game? It isn't likely, that's why people spend. And it's as simple as that. Bungie actually know this, and I've said it before. Bungie know this, that's why they keep adding more and more epic loot to these actual Engrams, because they know people will pay. From a business perspective, it's a good idea, I suppose. But then saying that from a business perspective, keeping your consumers happy, it isn't a good idea. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see how they're going to tackle this. But yes guys, that is it for the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you in that next one. Always in the wrong.